Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Okay, so I thought I would make another five-ish minute tip video based off of some of the replies and requests from my last video. I'm gonna try to hit these quickly, so let's get right into it. First of all, you might be asking yourself, what are these things and how will they help my images? These are what I like to call added elements. I use things like smoke, water spray, dirt, grass, and on location items to help add that extra little piece to my composite images. Now these are things that can easily be overlooked and many images are just fine without them. But for me, I just think they add that extra little something to raise the level of what we're creating. When you're showing your images or portfolio to someone from an agency, it can be the little things that separate you from the rest of the work that they see every single day. It takes just a little extra effort, but I feel the results when executed correctly and not overdone are well worth the time investment. So let's talk about how I capture things like these in order to use them in my images. All right, as we run through these, I will do my best to add some image examples throughout this video for visual reference. I gotta hurry if we're gonna make this close to five minutes, so let's go. Uh, first off is smoke. This kind of comes like this. Um, I just discovered this source a year or two ago, and it just couldn't be more convenient. I've used smoke or haze machines in the past, and they work great, especially on a larger scale, but I found these work just fine for capturing smoke files and working live on set. They work just like any other aerosol, just like the name says, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate so you can kind of spray it like I'm doing. <laughs> When you want to capture smoke for your file library, library you're going to want to have a black background. In addition, you will want to light the smoke from behind, so it will separate itself from the background. This will allow you to use a blend mode like screen in varying opacities in Photoshop to easily manipulate it how you need it. Layer masks are also your friend here. Next is uh, water, more like water spray. Now you can use this element in images to create varying means of sweat, like dripping or flying in the air types of things. I've got a couple different tools here. One is a fairly typical spray bottle. Um, this one is more of a mister. Works great for spraying on uh, skin of athletes and models. Um, this one is more for a rain type of thing, which connects to a hose. Uh, so you would wanna obviously only use this one probably outdoors if you want to get those types of files. You know, maybe set up in your yard and play around with capturing um, files out there. Now the bottle here has a nozzle that can be adjusted to a fine, all the way from a fine mist to a heavier spray. Now if you're taking the time to capture these types of files, I would just rotate this so you can make the most of your time and capture a full assortment of sprays. Uh, water, much like smoke, is best photographed with a black backdrop and being lit from behind so it will show up better. Once again, then you can use something like screen as a blend mode and magically add it to your images, along with a layer mask for precise control. Next is dirt. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you wanna photograph all this stuff outside. Um, so with dirt, you just toss it up and snap photos, which brings me to another point. Uh, this is all easier if you have someone with you to do the tossing, the spraying, um, etc. Uh, so you can spend your time with, you know, behind the camera capturing the actual images. Now, with this, you just want to keep tossing. Every toss with the dirt will be different. You might find that depending on the type of dirt, you'll also get some dust effects as well and some clumping, that type of thing. I think you can be served pretty well photographing this element in front of a dark or light background or, you know, maybe do both of them at the same time, which might make things easier in post depending on the image that you're working with whether it's a light or a dark one. With this, I like to light it from the front, then maybe try another light from the side or both sides to add some dimension. Um, that dimension might make it even more real looking depending on the light used in your scene. Another tip, you can rotate and flip all these element images in order to match lighting or direction of the action. Okay, now grass. I love adding a little flying turf to my sports images. When I'm capturing this stuff, I like to make sure I've got some clumps as well as individual blades like these here. To keep things different in the spirit of variety, just make sure you're manipulating it while you photograph it. You know, as you continue to toss it and you know, maybe break off a piece here or there and keep going. 
It doesn't take long and you'll have an impressive array of grass images. For lighting, I would stick to the earlier tip with the dirt. You know, light and dark backdrops and experiment with some side lighting to catch the edges of the blades for that added dimension. Finally, and maybe most importantly, I wanna add that when you're on location, remember to grab elements there. If you're on a field, grab some grass or some dirts, <laughs> dirt, some dirt, rocks or whatever, and give it a toss. Just be mindful of the background and you could possibly add those things seamlessly to an image captured on location. I should be showing one right now that we did on a baseball field and I wanted some dirt coming off of a player's cleats while he jumped. So we spent a minute or two throwing up you know, some dirt with the same wall in the background. You know, maybe you'll get a strange look or two, but it's worth it in the end. Okay, so I hope these tips help out with your own work. I'm kind of thinking out loud here, but maybe I could put together a pack of these uh, images that y'all could purchase for download. Um, let me know in the comments if that might be something you'd be interested in and I could possibly see about um, putting together some element image packs. Also, feel free to leave any other comments or suggestions down below. It should be pretty obvious by now that I read every one. <laughs> Uh, if you feel like you learned something here, please hit that thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you hadn't and you want to see more content like this in the future. Oh yeah, hit that bell uh, also next to the subscribe button so you'll be in the know when I upload new videos. Find me on social media, uh, in, on Instagram and Twitter at Quants Photo. Please stay safe and healthy out there and I hope to be here in the next one. Boy. <laughs> this one was a struggle. Probably undertakes to get through this, but anyway, thank you.